He's going to tell us about the science behind the cup of coffee. Please welcome Andrew Harvey. Well, um, Stephen actually got my first bit, and uh, just out of interest, I saw how many people have had a coffee this morning, but how many people actually enjoyed their coffee? Yeah. Okay, I want to increase that number, and I'm going to do it with science. And the, uh, science normally makes things boring and dry, but hopefully it's going to make it a little bit more interesting. Now, the first science that I was really interested in when I got into coffee at about age 15 was pharmacology. And really, I'm not going to talk about the pharmacological effects of caffeine, because I think that messing with your fight-or-flight reflexes is probably going to get you into trouble. But I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of other sciences, and I'm going to start off with where your coffee starts off, and that's in a berry or a, or a cherry. And these are coffee berries, and um, they grow on trees. And these trees actually fruit multiple times a day, and that's in, uh, sorry, multiple times in a season. That's important to know, because you need to find a farm that has good pickers. And those pickers know when to get the good berries. And that brings us to the farms and the regions. Now, if you want to take a little bit of scientific method to your coffee, start looking at the origins that your beans are coming from. Because when your beans uh, are... Uh, farmed, they are then processed, and each of those regions is going to have a different way of processing them. And that way of processing them is going to radically change the flavour. So if you get an Ethiopian berry, that's mostly likely going to be a natural process, which means you're going to get much more blueberry tones, but that can overwhelm some of the other nice chocolatey textures, which is where we come to the roast. Now the roast is the make or break point of the coffee, and that's why I've got three slides for the roast. because. Basically, the guys, here, the guys here, they're dealing with a 120-kilo roaster, but right next to them, behind them, is a 5-kilo roaster where they've done sample lots. And this is where the art and the science come together, because there is a whole bunch of scientific stuff that's going. There's sugars that are caramelizing, there's uh, bits that are roasting, and the roast profile that they choose, the way that they heat up that bean and they cool it down, is the way that you, that taste comes out. They choose to suppress the bad tastes and bring out the good ones. And that is going to bring us, hopefully, to the grind. Actually, no, it's going to bring us to the blend. <laughs> I should remember how my slides go. But the blend is really important. Most likely, your, um, your coffee is going to have a Brazilian base. And the reason that you've got a Brazilian base to your coffee is because that's a really warm, chocolatey base to work from. And then on top of that, you add origins. And the origins bring out, and they sing, and they have colors. And so you might drink a single origin, but to be honest, I wouldn't start with a single origin in the morning because you know what? A single origin is there for an experience. And in, in the morning, you probably want more of a, uh, a comforting feel, which does bring us to the grind. And uh, the grind is possibly the most important thing that you do with your coffee because the way that you grind your coffee is going to change the surface area. And basically what you're doing when you're extracting the flavors from your coffee, you're brewing it. When you're brewing it, you are using hot water to extract the solubles from the coffee. And the amount of surface area is directly correlated to the way in which those solubles are extracted. So there's a whole bunch of factors that come into play when you actually brew your coffee. There are the beans and all their journey that it have taken to get you. There's the surface area of the grind. There's the temperature of the water. There's the pressure if you're doing espresso. There's the time which you're working with. And there's also the ratio of water to your coffee. Now, I mentioned espresso. I'm only going to have one slide on espresso because we all know espresso. And to be honest, I don't think espresso is the best way for you to scientifically enjoy your coffee because you don't have enough control. If you're going to actually have a machine of your own, you're probably not going to pay enough for it to get enough control. So I suggest you use one of these methods. Now, the simplest method you can use is pour over. You have a whole set of variables which you can take control of, and you can slowly pour water over, and you can experience an amazing sensory experience as you actually do your coffee. If you've got a little bit you know, less time, then I suggest an AeroPress. An AeroPress, again, lets you have really tight control over your variables, because as all good scientists know, you need to control your variables. Move one at a time, and the AeroPress lets you do that. Google it. Out of all of this, your results, your findings, your hypotheses come in your taste profiles. The different variables that you change, whether it's the origin you choose, the length of time you have it in, or the, uh, the temperature of your water is going to bring out different flavors. So I want to encourage you to do three things as you bring science into your coffee. Think about it. Don't just order your double shot latte with an extra sugar. Go and think about it. Think about where your beans are coming from. I would encourage you actually to invest. Put 50 bucks into an AeroPress. You're going to enjoy it because you can experiment. 
When you experiment with your coffee, you actually engage with it. You engage with your flavors. It's like a good wine or a good whiskey. You get to actually be part of that process, and you get to, it. I think, enjoy it so much more. And that's really what it's all about. It's about enjoying your coffee. And I believe that as you think about it more, as you engage a little bit of science, you're going to enjoy your morning cup that much more. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.